amused mastery has always been one of my strong points. Where can you um, can you explain that a little bit more? Sure, Rolla? sure. I've got a, I've got a full post on this as well. It's called Amuse Mastery. Um, what it is is it's being in control. Um, I'm I'm of the opinion that um, that women seek competency in men. Uh, they're looking for a guy who knows how to fix a tire and knows how to you know cook spaghetti and do you know a lots and lots of different things. They're looking for a competency because that really goes back to their their need for security. Um, and in doing so, if you're a guy who has your shit together, if you really have your shit together, it's even better. But if you you know, if you can fake that you have your shit together, at least, you know, at least you're presenting the appearance of, of having a mastery that amuses you. So when a woman, when a girl says, starts talking to you or chatting to you about something or trying to seek uh, your approval or your validation, uh, for whatever, it doesn't even matter what she's talking about, but uh, most women want you to validate their conversation because remember women are, aren't having a conversation to actually um, to transfer information to you. They're, they're trying to get a feeling or trying to associate a feeling with you. And what I say is I, I think that guys need to present this appearance or present this atmosphere, I guess, of having a mastery and then being amused by whatever that woman is saying. So I, I didn't really I didn't really learn the effectiveness of amuse mastery until I had a daughter because it was really easy to do that with my daughter. Um, if she would show me something, you know, daddy, daddy, blah blah blah, you know, and I'd be like, that's nice, you know, that's cool. Hey, did you, you know? And then you would you would have that kind of fatherly, yes, sure, and like it amuses you, like you already knew what she was going to say, but you are like two steps ahead of her. Like you're playing chess and you're two steps ahead of her and you know what her next moves are gonna be. And so you kind of, it's, it's amusing to you that you already know what the next part of the conversation is going to be. If you can present that, it sort of gives them that, that you know, the older guy vibe, the younger girl and the older guy vibe. She's looking to you for competency. She's looking to you for security. Um, and she wants to know that that you know what you're talking about. She wants to know that you just get it. And so I, that's that's my definition, my loose definition of, of um, amused mastery. A lot of guys think, think that it means being aloof. Well, if I'm just aloof and if I'm disinterested, well, that's that's one thing, but I'm, I'm sure that any pickup artist or any guy who's a practitioner of game can see how much of a dead end that ends up being. Because if you're aloof to a point, they don't want anything to do with you. They don't want to have that. You're, you're kind of negating the conversation. Yeah. Well, you can't be amused and aloof. You got to be one or the other. Yeah. Amused and means you're engaged. I think, and, and this is here's some here's some advice. If you if you are getting into game, if you're if if you're saying, okay, I want to go out and I want to learn how to do this. I want to learn to be a little bit more socially intelligent and socially savvy with you know people in general, but but girls as you know in particular. I would suggest that any guy who wants to do that get into an improvisational acting class. If you're an introverted kind of guy and you you want to be more outgoing and you you just can't figure out why you you know why you're not the life of the party or anything learn to get into situations that force you to to well to be amusing first of all and then second of all forces you to never say no and when you're in an improvisational kind of sketch you never want to say no because no kills the conversation and so it's it's you know it's not just the answer is never you know, to, to come up with, you know, acting on the spot. It's never just about um, a yes or no question. It's yes. And let me tell you why, blah, 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 blah. And then you, you, you continue that conversation. I, I think that would be invaluable for any guy getting in the pickup right now. Yeah. Um, Rollo, could I, could I cut in here? Yeah. All right. So what you just said about amused mastery, mm -hmm. this is one thing that's changed in the past 10 years. It's gotten much easier to be more amused with yourself. Because I think especially in the past decade, people have been less self-aware. So if you're a man who shows you can be amused at girls, especially really pretty girls who are having, you know, likes thrown the, at them on Instagram, on their social media page, where every guy is like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. If you sit there and laugh at them and like, oh, you're cute. You're funny when your face scrunches up and like bump them on the nose. Mm -hmm. Like I found that. <laughs> No, that has honestly, in the past 10 years, that has gotten easier. Like wow. the amused mastery, because that, if you're amused, you're self-aware, and this is getting rarer and rarer as time goes on.
I think the older you get, the easier that be, that becomes yeah. too, because you actually you're not bullshitting anymore. You actually have the mastery that they expect from you. I, I really think that that's one of the reasons why younger girls tend to go for older guys. Um, usually, I mean, statistically, it's between five to seven years older than themselves. And I think that hypergamy can't afford to take chances with with a woman's you know breeding potential in her life so it makes sense to find a guy who's older and is competent like i said and has a mastery um, over life and his environment and can not only just protect her but also you know uh, excite her and entertain her on top of that yeah and I, I think you know i'm sure the the chat room is going to explode right now say well i don't want to do dancing monkey i'm not going to be somebody that she doesn't want me to be and I, I will tell you this right now that if you want to have any kind of engagement with a woman you are going to have to find some way to entertain them to be uh you know to not to say entertaining but just to to be interesting enough to carry on a conversation I mean, yeah. at what point you, at what point does it stop being dancing monkey and it starts being just about who you are and that's yeah. just that's what you're what you're well, about let me, let me flip the perspective on that one maybe the issue is not you're a dancing monkey maybe the issue is you're a boring fuck and right. that's just reflective on how yeah. people act with you yeah exactly well and that's well that's, that's why i think that's just one, one second rich i'll, I'll yeah. pass it off to you um that's one of the reasons i think that like I said, younger women go for older guys because they're looking for the guy who's already made. They're looking for the guy who has that mastery and can make them laugh because he knows, he knows he's seen the movie before and she's part of the movie and he's playing the game with her and he's not shutting her down. He's not saying no, but he has a mastery over it. So uh, you, she can be in an exciting, maybe sometimes dangerous situation with a guy and she's associating though that exhilaration and that dopamine hit with that guy but yet at the same time, she's like, okay, this guy knows what he's doing. And, uh, you know, he's cute, but he also has his shit together. And um, I, that really, appeal, yeah, that appeals to a woman's sense of hypergamy because they need the guy who's already made. Yeah. And I want to cut in again, uh -huh. just for one second. I'm telling you, girls under 30 years old who move to a big city, they are there for excitement. Mm -hmm. All right. If they're young and attractive, they're not looking for a relationship. This was a big red pill I had to swallow, even when I was in my late twenties. Like the girls who move to a big city, they don't care. They don't give a fuck about settling down. They are there for excitement, so you have to bring that excitement, and that's also part of the game. You got to be fun.